Hello again everyone, Schoons Comics here with another exciting, oh so thrilling, comic book haul! Yes, I'm back, I'm still here. How's everybody? How's the quarantine treating you? You finding some good stuff on Netflix? Tiger King, everybody still watching the dang Tiger King? I don't know. This is what society has devolved into. It's, uh, yeah, quarantine. Kind of a downer, but... Gives us all lots and lots and lots of time to watch YouTube videos and read comics and look at people's hauls and collections. A lot of good stuff out there, people. So please support everybody else's channel. Just try something new. Check some stuff out. But most of all, just take care of yourselves, all right? Take care of your family. Everybody be safe. Wash your hands. Lice all your hands. Pour gasoline on your hands. Burn them. Burn them right off. No, just don't, don't do that. Please don't burn your hands off. Okay. I'm going, this is part 9,652 of my I Bought Out a Comic Book Shop haul. Uh, just go check out the other nine parts for those of you coming late. Long story short, I bought an entire comic shop's super eclectic inventory and I've been showing it off. Today I'm going to show up, I think this is all Dell comics that I have here. I've got just a real grab bag of stuff. So without further ado, uh, last video or the video before that, I showed all my Tarzan books from Dell. I found one more going through the collection uh, randomly with a bunch of the kitty books. Tarzan number 167 from 1967. Very cool cover. Again, Tarzan really not my thing, but look at that bloody knife. Like these are supposed to be like really family friendly. Like they, in the inside of Dell Comics, they're always talking about being family friendly and family books and yada yada yada. Bloody knife on the cover. Ooh. All right. Here's an interesting title that I've been enjoying the, the cover certainly and some of the interior. This is Indian Chief featuring White Eagle number nineteen, from nineteen fifty five. This series is fascinating to me because it. It's, I foolishly thought that Native Americans were only portrayed pretty much as the bad guys in comics and pop culture for the most part in this time period, except for like Tonto, right? Lone Ranger. This series is all about the Native Americans are the entire cast, primarily. They're the protagonists. There's always little factoids about Native American culture. I thought it was a really interesting comic book and pretty cool. Hmm. Indian Chief featuring White Eagle, number 22 from 1956. Pretty cover. These painted covers are really something else there, Dell. I feel like I've seen this image before, but I don't know where. Indian Chief, number 23 from 1956. Just a beautiful cover. Just gorgeous. Man. Yeah, I'm really excited. This is an eclectic title, not one that I've ever seen anyone show off, but I'm happy to have a few issues in my collection. Oh, wait, I got another one. I thought that was the last issue. Indian Chief featuring White Eagle, number 25, 1957. Cool cover. Not the most heroic of poses, just kind of, eh, but, you know, what are you going to do? There's a rock slide, but interesting choice for a cover. Lee Hunter, Indian Fighter. This is number 904, but I think this is uh, Four Color, is the name of this comic series, which is very confusing to me because Dell, I don't know, it doesn't say Four Color anywhere, right? I'm not stupid, right? Yeah, but I think that's the name of just their random series here. So, Lee Hunter, Indian Fighter. Mm, got that Confederate flag on there, kind of, mostly. Ugh, that's, that's sad. But, pretty cover. Walt Disney's The First Americans, the stirring true story of the Indians of yesterday. Dell Four Color, number 843, from 1957. I posted this picture on my Instagram page, and several people, several Native Americans, commented that there would never be an image like this because there's only one chief. And then my lovely girlfriend, who is Native American, was corrected and said, well, there's wartime chiefs and peacetime chiefs and all these various scenarios. But yes, primarily that's usually correct. So a little interesting discussion happened over this book. Cool cover. 
God, I like this cover a lot. Um, four color, number 412 from 1952, Zane Gray's Nevada. Beautiful colors on this. Just what these comics lack in stunning interior art. There's nothing wrong with the interior art. It's fine. But these covers are just, whew, just beautiful. <laughs> I saw this movie as a kid, and this cover just made me laugh, so I threw it in here. Spartacus! I don't know what issue this is. I think it's from 1954. I think this is four color. I don't know, but Spartacus. I'm Spartacus. That's how I'm gonna start my new videos. I'm just gonna come up into frame and be like, I'm Spartacus. And older people will get that reference and younger people will have no idea. I barely know what I'm even talking about, which is usually how my channel runs. Me barely knowing what I'm talking about. Zane Gray's Shadow of the Trail. Four color number 604. Beautiful, beautiful comic. Zane Gray's Stories of the West. Number 29 from 1956. Lots of Western books here. I've never heard of this character, but this is apparently his first appearance in comics. Ben Bowie and his Mountain Men. I prefer it was David Bowie because that'd be amazing. This is four colored, 443 from 1952. I know Davy Crockett, I know Daniel Boone, I do not know who Ben Bowie is. But he looks like one of those guys. <laughs> Was popular enough to get his own series, because this is Ben Bowie and his Mountain Men number 13 from 1958. Hitting a bear with a rock. Seems like a bad idea. Ben Bowie and his Mountain Men, number eight from 1956. It's a beautiful cover, but boring as can be. He's just loading a gun. There's nothing ominous here. The, again, I've always felt the main job of a comic book cover is to draw you in and make you want to read this issue. What about this makes you want to read it? Like you're like, huh, it's like Ben Bowie might hunt some ducks. I'm not going to see how that turns out. Buy it. <laughs> okay, we're going to get into some of the funny animals and cartoon characters because I have a ton of them. So this is just a sample and some of the covers that I liked. Uh, this is four color, number 266 from 1950, featuring Bugs Bunny on Hercules Isle. Again, any, anybody watching this, if there are any of these issues you need for your collection... Hit me up. We'll work something out because they're all cool and I'll gladly keep them in my collection, but I'll, I'll trade. I'll, I'll work something out. But still, this is cool. Bugs Bunny, Hercules, Dinosaur, 1950, 70-year-old comic book in this shape. Yeah. Here's a four color, number 317. Bugs Bunny, Elmer Fudd, Porky Pig from 1951. This had a, a price sticker on it from the comic shop that I bought it out of, of $150, saying it was the first Bugs Bunny. I have issues older than this featuring Bugs Bunny. I don't think there's anything special about this issue. If I'm wrong, some Bugs Bunny enthusiast, please let me know. But, I don't know, just a cool Bugs Bunny comic. I like colors on this one. Number 366 featuring Uncle Buckskin coming to town and Bugs Bunny. I watch a lot of Looney Tunes. I do not remember Uncle Buckskin at all. If he was ever in the cartoons, somebody let me know. But, I don't know. Cool comic. Then we got Looney Tunes, number 186 from 1957. Oh, Bugs. Always getting that Elmer Fudd. You, you wascally wabbit, you. I mentioned I've been inside too long. I, th there's nothing special about this either, but I always liked this character when I was a kid, and I still sing this theme song. I'm not going to subject you to it. This is uh, Chili Willy number 160. No, I'm sorry. What the hell am I saying? This is four color number 1074 from 1960, featuring Chili Willy. Can't go wrong with Chili Willy. 
i.e. a true. And then we got four color Bredo 2 featuring Walt Disney's Goofy. Oh, Goofy, you're all tied up in knots. You stupid, stupid dog. To this day, if I do a cannonball into a pool, I have to do the Goofy yell, the hoo, 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 hoo. I have to do that because you have to. Goofy. I also like me some Daffy Duck. Here's uh, uh, some 1958, but I didn't write down the comic number. But here's Daffy Duck. And if you like this one, for whatever reason, Comic Shop had two. Why are there two random issues of this Daffy Duck comic? I don't know. Double the Daffy. Double the fun. Okay, I got a few more books here. Three more, in fact. A couple westerns. Giant Comic Western Roundup, number 22 from 1958. I should have done before and after this one. I tried to clean it up. It was completely just covered in gunk, and I took an eraser to it and cleaned it up as best I can. Try to get some of that yellow to pop back out. You know, cool Western book. I like the look of this cover a lot. Lone Ranger, Western Treasury number one from 1953. That's a beautiful comic. The spine's all intact on that. Looks really nice. Spine's not all intact in that. There's a big chunk right there. I'm a big liar. But still, it's all together. Lone Ranger. Whew. Last and possibly least, <laughs> somebody tell me what this is. Uh, this says number 398. I don't know if this is four color 398 or what. It's the Brownies from 1952. I love the colors on this. It's a thinner comic book than I'm used to with these. I don't know who these characters are. I have not done the research. It's the only issue of the brownies I found in my collection. Weird book, but just goes with the weird eclectic theme of this comic book collection. So again, with this comic book collection, I'm a big Marvel guy. So I was like, bronze, Silver Age, Marvel, maybe some gold. And there was a few of those things, a few of those things. But lots of weird stuff stuff like this that I'm like this is cool to have I don't know I don't I hope someone's thrilled right now I hope someone sees this like there's the brownies issue I've needed all my life I couldn't tell you and that's what I have this time people take care of yourselves take care of each other like comment subscribe and I will see you all later